It is a scenic trip along the CP rail line west of Banff, but it is not mountain vistas that attract bears. Grain that leaks from passing cars has long been tempting and ultimately killing bears, and that is what has drawn experts to a forum in Banff. The goal is to look at new and innovative ways to deter bears, particularly at-risk grizzlies, from feeding and walking along the rail lines. Some of these devices are already in the testing stage at a section of track between Banff and Lake Louise. So this is the living laboratory along CPR's um, main line between uh, Banff and Lake Louise. We've installed the pegboard system here to deter the, the bears from actually running along the track or, or moving along the track. Typically that's for when they're actually trying to run away from the train in a panic mode and to, to, to deter them from using the tracks as their escape route. The other technology we have is the electromat system and that is uh, designed to uh, form a fence end just like you would a cattle guard. Uh, to, to uh, close off fences, fenced areas as we have at Lake Louise. We're now at a point in time where it's time to bring the best minds available, uh, we think around the world, certainly North America, to bear on, uh, forgive the pun, but to, to deal with uh, a situation which uh, all of the low-hanging fruit has been picked and now we're trying to find the, the best and uh, most appropriate solutions and we need the best minds to, uh, to be applied. Parks Canada is also looking at ways to give bears what they want, food, and an easy travel corridor without looking to the rail line. Improving habitat quality away from the railroad track, primarily through the use of things like fire or mechanical thinning, uh, improving berry crops away from the railway track so that bears aren't looking for food as much here and have alternate ways of traveling through the valley without using this as a travel corridor. We've dealt with the Trans-Canada Highway. Uh, we have a challenge still in terms of the railway and we're working with the CP and uh, the science community to really find innovative solutions that will have application not only here in Banff, but I would say throughout North America. If you look at Banff, it's the birthplace of our national park system, but it's also the birthplace of innovation for grizzly bear management. Well, I think it's a challenge for society. Uh, these, are, these are iconic uh, species that must be preserved by uh, fair and, and balanced dialogue between all of the parties that are affected, be it at a federal level or at a corporate level like ourselves or with entities, uh, strong entities like Parks Canada.